one way to extend beyond AppSheet's standard functionality is to use uh, SQL database triggers or functions um, to your advantage to help you solve business problems. So I've got a quick demo here to show you how those work. Another common use case for database triggers is maintaining a historical log of your changes. So you may have a database of records that is changing frequently and you need to know when and where and what type of update happened on any given record. So on this meter table, this is sort of important business data, I have three triggers that are all very similar. Uh, after an insert, after an update, and after a delete of any record on the meter table. And for an add, it's just going to create a new record in the meter log table with all of the information and what type of change this was. For the update, it's going to have it set to only put a value in if the new value does not equal the old value. And if that's the case, it's going to put the new value in there. So we're only seeing the fields that actually changed uh, in these update logs. And deletes, just gonna say that this was deleted and by whom it was deleted. So in the app, what that looks like is I have an audit log table here. And currently it's empty because audit log data is going to populate a multiplier of however many rows are in the other table, which can bloat your application really fast. So a common way to handle this is to build in user settings that control the audit log activity. So if I go over here and look at my audit log table, I have a security filter that says, hey, my user settings, my audit log active field needs to be true and only show me as many rows as goes back uh, X amount of days, which we will enter into here. So I wanna see things for the last five days. This helps keep the data in the app manageable. So we can see I have 100 ads and then some updates and deletes. So we deleted those 20 records earlier and then there were some updates of those records before, and then the add of those 20. So we're kind of seeing a historical snapshot of uh, what's going on in the database. As an example, we have this meter right here. I'm going to click into that meter and I'm gonna make a change. I'm going to change its meter status to quarantined. When I look at my audit log, I see that I have an update to this tracking unit uh, meter, and it is only showing the change in the meter status field. Database triggers, stored procedures, and views can all be used very creatively to add uh, value and add extensibility uh, and functionality to your AppSheet applications. They can work really, really well together. So very curious to see if you've tried anything like this and how it's worked out for you. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.